I'm gonna use that to help me not lose any of my um, brushes and stuff while I, I work. And I don't have any like intent for um, the look, but I'm just gonna, I'm probably gonna use, well, I'm gonna use all my Juvia's Place stuff. Um, I'm gonna use all my Juvia's Place stuff. I have um, foundation. Um, I'm gonna use this palette that I showed y'all from um, one of the mystery boxes. I just got some concealer. Um, my favorite gloss right now. Highlighter. Um, I have a lip pencil, so I have two of them. So I'm probably gonna just add it on with a gloss. And then I'm gonna use this baby here. So to start, I'm gonna just... I actually need to trim these. I like to brush mine up. I know some people just brush them around, but I brush them up to, oh, I don't have my trimming scissors right now. So, back to this, I'm just gonna, I mean, this won't even matter once I do what I do with them. So, so take my mirror. Yeah. Okay, this one. And then, using the Juvia's Place Eye Sculpt Eye Shade um, Brow Pencil in the color Ebony. Um, I just wanna. Every time I get my eyebrows done, they always remind me that this one <laughs> is thinner. And they always tell me that before they wax. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I don't I don't know what happened to my brows. I mean, I do kind of know what happened. Um, what happened was that growing up, I hated my brows. And um, with me hating my brows, the first, the first chance I got to get them waxed or whatever... I did um, because like I said I hated them like they were so like how thick they are right now with me like filling them in that's how they were growing up and I literally hated my brows and it's funny because um, some of my friends used to be like well give me some of your brows or um, a family member told me one time like I wish I had your brows and I'm like what now I didn't understand how great they could be um, later on. And I wish I had known because I would have left them alone. Um, but can't go back now. <laughs> can't go back now. So I'm going in with the concealer in the shade. I thought this would tell me. Um, it's number 12. I'm pretty sure that's not what it said on the site, but... That's what it's saying on the bottle. So we're just gonna go with that. So it has this like, this is probably way too much on here. I'm gonna just like wipe that off. I've only used this concealer one time before. And I like to do my bottom, uh, bottom brow first because I have such an issue. I usually would do like one brow first, but um, you know, with doing your makeup, you try, you try stuff a couple times just to see like what works and what doesn't. And um, that's basically how I got to that. Um, that way i'm just gonna put a little more because i'm just gonna bring it down to my lid 
uh, I didn't mean to get this shade, but it seems to be matching beautifully. Um, and that wasn't my intention. I was going for, you know, the typical lightness that we use, but, um, yeah. Y'all, I am not a makeup artist by any means. I don't do anybody's makeup but my own. Um, I'm not even that great at it. So, <laughs> this is Amateur Hour. <laughs> um, I actually learned a little bit from... Um, I had watched a video, like, I don't know how many years ago now, um, and the girl was doing, like, a full face of, um, elf makeup, <laughs> and that's pretty much how I learned how to do my makeup, <laughs> um, aside from, like, asking the professionals some questions, the professionals I mean by, um, friends that are makeup artists that actually, you know, get paid to do this kind of greatness um so yeah um but yeah i i don't really know what i'm doing um i actually used to never do my brows and when i first <laughs> when i first tried um doing makeup like doing a full face of makeup i tried with elf makeup and i did not do my brows i used to hate doing my brows because um like i said i hated my brows as a kid so when I started, when I was doing my makeup, I'm like, I'm about to make these darker. Like, I want them to stay, you know, I want them to stay light so that nobody notices them. I used to call them the little caterpillars on my face. Um, so I, again, I used to never, never, ever touch my brows. And my, it started, my makeup just looked dumb. <laughs> to put it simple, it just looked dumb. And, um... Once I, I, once I did my makeup, I was like, all right, I guess I got to do my brows. Um, because it just completed the look. Um, yeah, I hope that this foundation. So, I had this foundation in the color, uh, Acron 330. I have another one that I got. Um, this one, um, it is... This one is in Nairobi 410. And I know it seems like mad far off, but the way Julius plays like color matches when you do it online to like tell them. Um, I got this one first. And it is very light. It is my winter shade for sure. Um, so with it being my winter shade, I went and tried to get one that's um, a little bit dark, a little bit darker and closer to the shade that I am now. So I haven't used this, but. It already um, primed my face, so I'm not just putting this on <laughs> um, a random, you know, you know what I mean. I think it's, y'all that, um, that are watching and no makeup, do me a favor and drop down below what you think, um, like my, my skin is like, like, is it, like, where are my undertones, if that's what I'm asking. Um, I don't know how to discover any of that. I mean, I, it says, it, some of them ask and it's like, oh, um, your, it'll be like, is your veins blue or is your veins on the inside of your hand green or, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> like, they kind of, I don't know, it just depends. I feel like. So, for those of you who know, based on like, based on what my face look like, or maybe my neck. Based on what it looks like, tell me what um my undertones are. I probably should have did my eyes before I did all this, huh? That goes to show y'all I don't <laughs> I don't remember those things. Like I really don't. This is really pretty. So
beautiful. So here is the final look. Um, I don't know what's going on with my eyes, but I kind of like it. Um, it's not, I don't feel like the shadow is where it was when I first <laughs> applied it. And it hasn't been that long. Like I haven't done anything yet. This is literally exactly when I finished the look. So I did a little lippy. I did, um, I had this pencil from Juvia's Place. I used that and then I used a brown one to outline my lip. And then I threw on the iridescent lip gloss um, from Juvia's Place as well, just to add a little shine to it. And this is the look. Mm, I don't know how I feel. Like, what is, how is it looking? Like, am I looking like I'm matching my shirt? Cause that's what it's giving me. I don't know, you guys tell me. So comment down below some um, some tips and tricks for me so that I can um, do this again and kind of, you know, get it right next time. All right. <laughs>